All right, it's finally fight week. Francis Ngannou versus Tyson Fury goes down this Saturday. And I am very, very intrigued by this matchup. Now, coming into this one, we all know Francis has never boxed before. Tyson Fury is the heavyweight champ. He's 33 0 and 1. He's 6 foot 9. He's razor fast, razor sharp, urban cat like reflexes with a big flabby belly. The man's incredible. He really is. But what's going to happen? Francis Ngannou hits like a Ford truck going 100 miles an hour, something like that. But can he connect? And is Tyson Fury overlooking Francis Ngannou? That was a video that we talked about recently because he's already booked his next fight against Alexander Usyk. I'm Phil. I'm very few. Now, according to Michael Benson, who's a great boxing journalist, he said Tyson Fury has insisted that he wants Alexander Usyk the fight to take place in December. Usyk has to fight me in December. No, he doesn't have a choice. He signed the contract, so if he doesn't, he's breached contract and he gets sued. He doesn't really have a choice. <laughs> I can do a no man alive. John Fury, I can't really do a Tyson. Shout out Tyson. I'm looking forward to it this weekend. Um, listen, if you speak to Francis Ngannou, Francis Ngannou says that he's overlooking Tyson as well because he's already booked his next fight or he will be fighting very soon. He's talking to the PFL right now and he will be competing in mixed martial arts for the PFL. And he actually had a very good point. He said, look, listen, this isn't war. We're not going to die. We're professional sportsmen. So we're looking at what's next. We're looking at our career. So yeah, maybe he's overlooking me and maybe I'm overlooking him. But the reality is they're probably both taking this very, very seriously. Now, as I say, it goes down this weekend. Francis Ngannou was always in incredible shape and he looked massive and jacked at the press conference. Tyson Fury looked a little bit heavier than normal. Try it, son, you like it. I'm wondering what shape he's going to show up this weekend because if he's going to fight Alexander Usyk that's not that far away you know maybe he's going to look at Francis Ngannou as kind of like a warm up a sparring match just a little bit of a display the reality is the money that they're getting paid is not for an exhibition bout they're getting paid real money I think it's like 100 million maybe even 200 for Tyson Fury and I'm sure Francis Ngannou is going to get a massive massive payday as well will Tyson Fury get caught? no I very much doubt that. I cannot see that happening one little bit. You know, the speed of the man, the reflexes, the head movement, the experience, and the length. The length is going to be a real problem for Francis Ngannou. Francis is going to have to mitigate the reach. He's going to have to get on the inside. He's going to have to get past the jab. Now, Tyson Fury already called his combination to Francis Ngannou's face. I'm going to knock him out inside six rounds. Okay. And I shall tell you how I'm going to do it. Why not? Got on the front foot. High arm. Sicking him with a punishing jab. 19, 20 stone in the face. Boom, boom, boom. Bust him up. Swell his eyes out. And then faint strip. Bang. KO. Listen, there's trash talk and there's being confident. But the confidence of Tyson Fury really is on another level. I mean, it is wild how much he is disrespecting Francis Ngannou. And Francis, bless him, he's taking it all in his stride. He's not an emotional guy. He doesn't get mad. He doesn't get angry. And that will help him in the fight. But he's got to show up and he does have to fight. Francis, if we look back against Derek Lewis, I don't know if you saw that fight, but in the fight with Derek Lewis, it was two of the hardest hitting guys. It was very lackluster. And Francis actually lost to Derek Lewis because of inactivity because he didn't throw anything, because he knew what was coming back was very, very dangerous. Now, granted, that was just one bad night at the office, and we all have them. We've all been there. Anderson Silva's had a few. Many fighters have had dull, dud fights. Many fighters have just, like, shit the bed. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know what happened. It was a mental block or whatever it is. Or maybe it's because he was like, shit, Derek Lewis knocks people out. Francis Ngannou is now going up against Tyson Fury, a man that has beaten many people and knocked out plenty of people, knocked out Deontay Wilder, a man that people are kind of comparing to Francis Ngannou. The reality is Deontay would be a better boxer. Deontay is also faster as well as powerful. You know, probably just as powerful, maybe not, but not far off. You know, we're, we're splitting hairs now. But the speed is the big difference. The speed of Deontay Wilder is improved over Francis. And certainly, and I'm not shitting on Francis, by the way, when we saw the video recently of him hitting pads, uh, training with Mike Tyson, and shout out Mike Tyson, by the way, he's going to be in the corner. And a lot of people really think that Mike Tyson will be the difference maker for Francis Ngannou. But he looked a little bit slow. Now, who knows? Maybe the footage that came out, maybe it was a little bit old. Maybe Francis was tired. Maybe it was just a technical session. 
You know what I mean? Every time you're hitting the pads, you're not going bah, 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 balls to the wall. Maybe you're just drilling, getting the movement. So we don't know. We don't know what the situation is there. But the reality is he's not going to be as fast as Tyson Fury. No way. No man alive is as fast as Tyson Fury. Sorry, I could not resist. But the shenanigans are all going to start this week. We got the press conference. We got John Fury. John Fury is going to be there. He's going to steal the show once again. Right, he did it last time at the, the Misfits Boxing Shit Show. Okay, he was absolutely hilarious leading up to that fight. I'm a machine. I'm a dead. And I love some John Fury. I really do, man. He is just comedy gold. He is, and I love it because he's very authentic. He's not putting an act on. You know what I mean? He loves combat sports. He gets a little fired up. The adrenaline gets pumping. His sons are competing as well. And, you know, the adrenaline gets charging. And all of a sudden, the man's flipping tables and, and offering everyone out, headbutting the glass and all sorts. I'm not sure if we'll see that go down in Saudi Arabia. Maybe he'll be a little bit more reserved and a little bit more respectful. Because the reality is, Francis Ngannou ain't going to be pulling any of that shit that KSI did or Logan Paul or any of that nonsense. No one's showing up with cakes. No one's got the theatrics, you know what I mean? No one's going to be disrespectful. And to be fair, Francis Ngannou, he does his talking with his fists and you have to respect that. He's been very quiet. He's been very respectful, but he's also been, you know, quietly confident. And he believes training with Mike Tyson, who will be in his corner, will be the difference. I have an issue with that because I don't feel the, the style of Tyson Tyson, ne I say an issue, it's not an issue. I'm just saying I don't necessarily agree. It's great to lean on someone like Mike Tyson because he's got a wealth of experience, of course, and one of the best boxers and the baddest man on the planet at one time. But the style of Tyson, because Tyson wasn't the tallest guy, was, you know, he's a shorter guy, razor fast feet, razor fast head movement, get on the inside, bam, 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 let go with the hands. Francis I don't think has the capability of doing that. Not knocking him. It's just that he can't replicate Tyson style. Francis is just going to get a hold of Tyson Fury. Throw him into the corner of the octagon. If he can do that before the referee breaks them up. Of course, this isn't KSI versus Tommy Fury. If they clinch like that, they're going to break it up. But if I'm Francis Ngannou, I'm trying to clinch, okay? That in itself is going to be a tough one against Tyson Fury because he's got fast feet just as fast as his hands. But if Francis can get a hold of him for a second, bully him into the corner, and I've said this before, and then just unleash, just unleash. Staying on the outside, playing the games with the jabs, ain't going to work. Trying to slip the jabs of Tyson Fury. I doubt he's going to be quick enough for that. And if you listen to Tyson Fury, he's going to jab, jab, triple, triple jab. Go to the body, uppercut, bang, it's all done, it's all over, there it is. And then Tyson Fury goes off and fights Alexander Usyk in just six weeks. I mean, if he can pull that off, that will be one of the most legendary gambles and the most amount of money a fighter has earned in quick succession in two fights in just a matter of weeks. Man, if anyone can do it, Tyson Fury can do it. And if anyone can land that knockout shot, that is Francis Ngannou because he's got the power. But still, it all goes down this week. I'm very much looking forward to it. I'll be doing a lot of content surrounding this. Might even bang out a cheeky live later. But still, I'm driving off to Vegas. Uh, got some events going on for the UFC. We've got Power Slap. We've got fights coming up galore. I'm going off to Brazil. Then we've got John Jones versus Stipe Miocic. So I'm all over the place. So I'm jumping in the car. I'm driving to Vegas. Wherever you are in the world, have a good day. Subscribe and ring the bell. And I will see you soon.